Well guys, welcome back to Detroit Garage. Some days you just gotta call it a snow day. I uh, came out to do a bit of work, but <clears throat> they haven't plowed the uh, the grounds here, so to get Alice in and out of the snow is a no-go item. So the plan for the day was to bring this old diamond tee in and then strip out the radiator from the F550 and take the fenders off and do a bunch of work on it. But uh, there's no way I'm going to be able to get over there to, to get to the diamond T. So, I guess I'll just light a fire, warm up the shop and uh, do a bit of work on some injectors and stuff and show you the uh, V92T. Uh, and the little progress I've made on it. So yeah, it's another cold day, minus 16 centigrade. And I'll get a fire going and warm up the shop. Whew. So I've got to tidy up. This is the modus operandus, is to tidy up this bloody shop. I think I keep saying that. Yeah, get rid of some of this junk, get this power stroke out of here. And now that Alice is back in service, I can uh, start getting this stuff cleaned up. So I'll get the fire going and then I'll bring it back and show you what I've done on the 8V92T. Some of you guys have asked about it, but I think what I'm going to do is part this out. Um, I have no, well, I'd love to have a use for it, but I just don't have a use for it. Uh, I've got my 6V71 here, and I really want to get that. That's a brand new engine, so I really want to get that into something. You know, after I finish the Diamond T with the uh, 453T, I think this is the next project. I really want to see this back on the road. And the 71, <clears throat> the 92 Jake heads will fit on this as well. So, um, yeah, that's the plan. <clears throat> so, I'm just slowly taking everything off the engine. And uh, here's the injectors. I freed up these four injectors. And they all, all work pretty well, but... Uh, you look at the tops. They're uh, 9200s. This is a replacement 9200. But all the rest are all... Uh, looks like the guy wasn't cleaning. It looks like the guy ran without clean oil, you know, or dusted the engine. So, Jake heads are all off. Pulled the filters off as well, the fuel filters, but you could see <clears throat> lots of wear here on these bridges. Look at this, holy smokes. So we'll pull the other side off. <clears throat> and uh, some nastiness here. So if you guys want to see a teardown video, let me know in the comments below. And I'll spend a couple of days and tear this down and see why it was uh, taken out of service. I'm sure there's lots of nasty stuff to see. So yeah, let me know in the comments below and uh, do a teardown video of it. And then I can squirrel away uh, all the bits and uh, either part it out or if there's no interest just keep it and maybe someday I might build it up who knows but I don't want to see it go to the scrapper so
Well, there you have it, guys. That's a look at the uh, AV92T. If you want a uh, teardown video, let me know. And uh, like I said, I'll spend a couple of days and, and tear it apart and see what went wrong with it. Uh, film that rather than just taking it apart and uh, and then showing you the pieces. So. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that, and we'll uh, catch you on the next video. Well, <clears throat> headed home after working on that AV92T. So I thought I'd bring you along for a quick little ride. It's uh, minus 17 degrees centigrade. And uh, lots of snow. forklift out. Um, the reason I want to get that uh, F550 cab in the shop is to get the radi radiator out of it. Uh, this one has sprung a uh, small leak and uh, I want to uh, replace it. Just on the right bottom corner there it's uh, it's got a small weep and uh, I got a trip coming up so I gotta get that fixed so I'm gonna swap in the, the other radiator but uh, I can't do much if uh, if they don't plow these uh, these areas
Jake on going down here.